Hi guys, it's Michelle again, the Early Learner Educator from the Amazium. I'm here to touch upon another one of my favorite activities. This one is foam block building. We're actually going to be using two different types of foam. One is gonna be a block, and one is going to be foam soap. This is a lot of fun, my friends. We picked this up at a neighborhood Walmart store and it is non-toxic. So while we can use shaving cream, if you do have it at home, um, if you have those who are a little bit more orally fixated, this one is taste safe and it smells delicious. So on top of the foam blocks and the foam soap, one of the biggest things that you're gonna need for this activity is going to be a waterproof container. You can use a bathtub, you can use a sink, you can use a table as long as you can clean it up. It is always safe to have a good towel for cleanup later. It is soap, so it's easily washable. So when we're using this foam blocks, kids can really explore this in any fashion they would like. They can explore it for mathematical purposes. We can see a lot of patterning happening when kids use blocks. When we use the foam and the blocks, it's a brick and mortar kind of concept, allowing the two materials to combine in a way that helps to achieve things you might not be able to achieve. It's a lot of problem solving and complicated concepts of communication. Being able to label and name the shapes is a great skill, but really getting down and being able to experiment with them, see which ones are alike, which ones are different, is one of the most important concepts of being able to play with these foam blocks. You can always put some more foam on it. Let's see what you guys can build. Can you build something really tall or maybe something really wide? Maybe you've seen a building before and you wanna build that and challenge yourself. Maybe you wanna create something brand new. I'd be excited to see what you have to share with us. So let's see all the amazing things you can create and I'll see you next time.